what is this concept of present value and future value you have some money today and it earns interest or returns when you invest and it keeps on earning interest so value of money today is called present value value of money in future is called future value and this process of converting a present value of money into a future value is called compounding or inflating the process of converting a present value into future value is called compounding or inflating but sometimes you know the future value and you have to find out the present value that process of converting a future value into a present value is called discounting there are two concepts two processes which you should be aware of one is compounding by which i convert a present value into future value the second is discounting where i know a future value and i convert it into present value so i have shown you both the processes future to present and present to future suppose you invested 10000 today in a account that pays 6% interest with interest compounded annually how much will be in the account at the end of 2 years if there are no withdrawals so 10000 becomes the present value 6% becomes the rate of interest and after 2 years what you will get is the future value so this is basically a compounding problem where i know the present value i know the time i know the rate of return and i have to find out the future value so let's use the financial calculator now in your financial calculator and this is the on button press this on button here this place there is a button called cmpd cmpd press cmpd a window which says compound interest set end n something i something opens let it be as it is later i'll tell you what the set means right then below set there is n n is equal to time period then below n there is i i is equal to rate of interest below that there would be pv pv is equal to present value that is amount of money today below pv there is a th thing called pmt which stands for payment this also will ignore right now right now i am not telling what this is then below it there is fv which is future value the value of money in future below it there is p oblique y which stands for number of payments in one year then comes c oblique y number of time compounding occurs in one year now in this question set let it be there now what is n n is 2 years what is i i is 6 pv is equal to minus 10000 and why minus that you must understand we are dealing with cash flows press the middle silver color button the round button silver color in where re replaced written press it downwards press escape restarted if somehow restarted press on again then go to cmpd sometime it gets stuck now pv is minus 10000 why minus because we are dealing with cash flows and there are two types of cash flows cash inflow and cash outflow when money comes to you it's an inflow 
when money goes out from you it's an outflow so when you invest 10000 rupees would money come to you or go out jab aap 10000 rupees invest karenge aapke paas paisa aayega ya aapke paas se paisa jayega when you invest money money would go out anything that goes out is minus anything that you receive is plus so pv becomes pv becomes Minus ten thousand PMT. You forget it should be zero. FV we have to find out. So you just put it zero right now. Two execute six execute minus ten thousand execute PMT zero execute future value zero execute. P oblique Y is one. How many payment has he has he made? One payment only. C oblique Y is also one. Now the highlighted window should be taken to F V. Then below on there is a button called Solve. Press Solve. All of you got eleven two three six. 